Hey, what's up YouTube world? It's Ryan from Riding in Style. And today I just wanted to talk about superchargers and what is the life expectancy of an engine with a supercharger in it? And that question is something I've been thinking about because I've heard several different reports about superchargers and I've actually heard that your engine will not last as long if you go ahead and put a supercharger in it. But it's such an expensive mod. You know, there's so many moving parts involved that I was wondering if it was worth it. So for those of us that drive the 5.7 liter Hemis, I was under the impression that it's easier to modify the 5.7 and put a supercharger in it than it is for the 6.2 liters. And those that have supercharged their 6.2 liter engines have experienced more problems sooner. And, you know, the supercharge is very expensive. The cars that already come with them installed are very expensive. And just to add one into your car, you know, there's so many different things that need to be changed that it is a huge modification. And so I guess my, my big question is, is it worth it? You know, looking into the Hellcats and now the Demons, you know, these engine are, these engines are coming out of the factory already supercharged. But like for the Hellcats, they've only came out in 2015. So that's only like maybe two or three years now. So it's, it hasn't been long enough to see the longevity of these types of super engines. And... You know, I'm always in the hunt for more horsepower. And as most of you already know, you know, I already have a 5.7 liter Hemi, but I've always wanted more power. I think most of us do. I think the day that you are satisfied with your horsepower is the day to drive an electric car. I don't know, I'm just saying. You know, I think we're always on a quest to squeeze out just a little bit more. I think I've done a video actually about a month or two ago about how much horsepower is enough. But now comes the reality of going that route and will it cost more money down the road? Will it cost a lot of money just to maintain the supercharger or will it add up in, in maintenance costs? You know, is it practical versus a car that is already supercharged out the factory, again, the Hellcat? You know, and there's a chance it could be covered by warranty. So if there is any issues, it's covered. Pricing these uh, superchargers on for my car, I'm looking at about another $10,000 mod. And that's with all the parts included and supposedly the labor as well as all the, um, the tunes. Because not a whole lot of people can install a supercharger. You need to have a shop that has the, the ability to tune it afterwards. And of course, you want to have somebody that has the experience, somebody who's worked with that type of capacity before that knows what they're doing. I wouldn't want to be someone's first supercharger install. I wouldn't want my car to be that guinea pig, you know, to work out the kinks unless they would cover it if something were to go wrong. But, you know, so I'm kind of just wondering, you know, what is the life expectancy of, let's just say, a Hellcat engine? Will you get? 100,000 miles out of your car, 150 or 200,000 miles if your car is supercharged? Or is it just kind of a given to accept that if you go the route of supercharging your car, you'll have a great car, but with a shorter life expectancy? Is that kind of the trade-off? And that's my question to you all is anybody who has any insight, go ahead and respond to this. You know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about superchargers. Because that's kind of been the the uh, research point for me is, is it better to maybe sell my charger now? Because I've been getting a lot of looks on them. You know, people have been inquiring and asking me if I've ever thought about selling it. And there's a few people already in line if I decide to. And I'm not looking to. I mean, if I, if I wanted to just fix it up and sell it, then I would have sold it already. But I enjoy it. I mean, the way it rides, especially once I put the Diablo tuner in there, it was really a huge difference in the performance and I just feel like I'm driving a better car. But, you know, my, my thought process is, is it worth investing future money on this 
future mod or looking at the other option of selling it and just investing in maybe a, a Hellcat or a supercharged engine already that's covered by a warranty. And that's been the toss-up. So my question is, regardless of which way I go, what is the life expectancy of these supercharged engines? Because I could get by with the Hemi and just always be curious on what it would be like to have a supercharger in it. Or, you know, I could just pull the trigger and one day get it. And I probably will. That's the reason you guys keep hearing me going back to it is because, you know, it's, it's a long process. Decisions that I've made today, I've been thinking about for at least a few years. You know, it's, it's a very calculated process. It's a huge investment. And I don't want to make the wrong investment. You know, in this life, I, I believe we need to be good stewards with our money. You know, we need to be wise with our spending and not just be reckless and foolish. But at the same time, investing it in something that puts a smile on my face every time I start her up. And that's kind of what I have now. But if the supercharger will last me um, at least a good 100,000 miles, then I believe it would it would be a good investment. But to get it replaced, you know, if there was any issues with it, again, there's so many moving parts that it could really add up the cost quickly in terms of having to fix something. Same with like driving a Tesla. You can drive a Tesla and save money on gas, but eventually that battery is going to have to be replaced. And that's another $8,000 to continue using your car. So that's my, my little thought for today is, you know, superchargers, are they worth the investment? Is it a good investment? And does it shorten the, the life expectancy of the engine? Does it add to it? You know, and that's kind of the, the thought process I have going on right now. So I welcome all of your comments. Leave a, leave a like. There's a box right here. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you all for watching. Thank you for putting up with my little random thoughts that come up from time to time. And I like to hear the feedback, you know, especially from the community that we have. This is Ryan from Riding in Style. Yeah.